Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for Classic and welcome to Benchart. So for today what I do have in it is FIFA 21, a game developed by EA Vancouver and EA Romania and it is using Frostbite 3, which is the most used engine inside EA uh, which has been used for Need for Speed, all the FIFAs and especially for Battlefield games. So without losing any more time, let's check out the minimum requirements for FIFA 21. So for the minimum it is a little bit more demanding than last year on the CPU front, but all the rest it is exactly the same. So it still requires an NVIDIA GTX 660 or an AMD Radeon HD 7850. 8 gigs of RAM and, well, a Fan 2 X4 or an i3 from the 6000 generation. But the question is, how does it perform on the Intel HD 620? So with dual channel memory, alright, uh, the performance that you can expect at low settings, 720p, it is something in between the 60 to 80 frames per second. So, amazing performance in my opinion. The replays, there are some drops in and there, as you know, replays on FIFA have always been locked to 30 frames per second. So with an Intel HD 620, it gets between 25 to 30. If you raise the graphical settings to median, your experience in gameplay will be between the 50 to 60, so it's still, you know, playable. And median settings actually adds grass on the replay, while the low settings you don't have any grass, but I do still prefer uh, to play on low, to be honest. That is, I also test the game at high settings with two times multi sampling and maximum settings. While the high settings pr performs pretty much between the 45 to 60, maximum settings underperform sometimes under 30 frames per second. So at 900p, uh, I decided to test the game at median and also high settings with two times multi sampling. Well, and unfortunately, the performance was lower than 60 frames per second. I really think that you should and Always try to have 60 frames per second on FIFA, aside from the replays, because they are locked to 30, as you know. So, my recommendation it is to play FIFA 21 using low settings at 720p for maximum performance. Alright, yes, you will lose grass uh, during the replays and all that kind of stuff, but it is way more playable. Although, there is one issue with this game. So this game supports both DirectX 11 and DirectX 12. Uh, and by default, the Intel HD 620 starts the game with DirectX 12. So what happens for me is that when I do start the game with DirectX 12, the game just crashes after entering on the menu. So it just stalls there and it doesn't move. So I had to change the game to DirectX 11, but unfortunately there is no easy option for you to change that. So in order to change the game to DirectX 11, you need to go to your documents basically and you need to search for a FIFA 21 folder. Open that folder and you will find a file called FIFA setup.ni and if you open there, there is there a thing called DirectX Select and it should be marked to zero, you just need to change it to one. So all the explanation it is on the description of the video and in any case if you have any doubts just leave a comment on the comment section of the video which I will help you out. So since this game uses Frostbite 3, Frostbite 3 on the first start that you make it, only, it always tries to generate shader cache. So it is normal for you to see throughout the first 5 to 10 minutes uh, your CPU to be at 100% and having a tons of uh, centering and stops, right? And uh, you know, that. But after it generates the shader cache on the background, uh, it starts to use less CPU and it starts to perform decently, alright? So that's the performance that you, that you can expect. So if you have an Intel HD 620, if you have dual channel memory, like 16 gigs of RAM at least, if you have both of these two things and you have kind of a, an i5 or even an i3 from a recent generation and you, have, and you are using the game at DirectX 11, you can expect the performance for this game to be 60 frames per second. All right, during the matches, no issues whatsoever, and the replays, you can expect 30 frames per second with drops. So that's my own recommendation, 720p, both settings, and you should be able to play with a very, very decent frame rate. But, I mean, how does it compare to FIFA 20 last year? So 
the game didn't change much, all right? It should perform roughly the same, but yeah, let's talk a little bit more about the game. Not really an expert on this question, on this stuff about FIFA, since I'm not really a football player or a e -sport, EA Sports or Pro Evolution Soccer player. So I, I honestly don't really know, but for what I have seen, I don't notice too much of a difference. For me, it looks pretty much the same. And the performance, it is exactly pretty much the same as last year. That's why the requirements, the recommended requirements are the same. Because it performs the same. And the game seems more or less the same. I'm not really sure if the new generation of consoles, the PS5 or the Xbox Series X and Series S, Series S will have a special version of FIFA 21 because every time a new generation of consoles gets released the PC it is kind of abandoned and stays with the other version for one or two years only after two years or something it is when the PC catch up with the regular version of the consoles of the new consoles I'm not really sure if EA is going to do this again I have read somewhere that it is exactly what is going to happen so FIFA, if that is true, FIFA 21, it is a port of PS4 or the Xbox One X, alright? It is not a port from PS5 version or Xbox One Series X, I mean, and Series S, which means that probably those consoles will have a better version than FIFA 21 than what the PC have, but so far, this version runs at 4K, 60 frames per second, you have new menus, you have the teams updated decently, so you have all this uh, new visual and soundtrack, but essentially what I do feel is that the game it is more or less the same. But I will leave that for the experts to say, because again, I'm not really a big player of that, it's just I fail to notice any considerable difference between all these games. So as you can see, I'm not actually playing. Uh, I put the two CPUs facing each other, so Barcelona are against Real Madrid. So I decided to do this because I'm a noob. And I just decided to put the two bots or the two teams fighting each other uh, using the CPU. So I think it's more interesting since at least at the legendary difficulty, it seems like they know what they are doing. So guys, I think that's all that I want to talk about this video. Thank you a lot for watching. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the game. And I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Rodrigo. Now Casemiro. Well, he's given us away. Couldn't hang on to it. Karim Benzema. Well, the man at the hub of most things creative is Lionel Messi. But has that been the case in this game, Lee? And in with a real chance. He had just the goalkeeper to beat. He's got it completely wrongly. Well, he won't be watching that when he gets home tonight on a replay. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. away by Barcelona good visualization and execution can he finish I must say he's let himself down with really flabby finishing there yeah he wasted opportunity from the short distance you see the manager's frustration on the touchline Karim Benzema And 30 minutes left for play in this match. De Jong. Now Griezmann. Lionel Messi. Barca maintain possession. Advantage. Barcelona free kick. It'll be here. 
No card, but the referee clearly stating that's the last warning. away Rodrigo Modric good work to regain possession it's a well struck pass now to the front post the keeper there to catch it under no real pressure. Karim Benzema. The ball with Luka Modric. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. He just needs to remain icy cool. Goes towards that far post. A goal it is, at long last, they've broken the deadlock. Well, it's been so close this game. Tactics have played a part. Now they're going to have to change the tactics and see what happens. Well, we can see it again here. What a lovely inviting cross into the danger area that was. And he gets up for the header. And quite frankly, it's a lovely finish. Brilliant goal chance to revisit the goal A dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider Tony Kroos here's Ramos so a throw in here Azar and in the second half, the signs are positive. They can't relax, Lee, but they ought to be pleased. With a narrow lead and the clock ticking, it's so easy for the Barcelona players to lose concentration. Asking the referee how long to go, looking over at the bench for signals. Staying focused is a skill. Well, it could be on for him here. That is a moment he would dearly love to have back, if possible. Yeah, it wasn't his best effort, was it? But I bet he thought, I haven't got anything on. Why not try a shot? Substitution time it is. Jordi Alba. Well, Barca have worked their socks off today to get themselves into this position. Just need to see it out now. The fans are doing their bit. Casemiro. We have entered the final minute of normal time. We will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Well, still time for them to level it. And the decision is one of offside here.
Casemiro acquitting himself. And the final whistle has sounded. The end of the game here. A win for Barcelona. And Lee, their fans are going to be happy about that. Well, it was tight, wasn't it? Just done enough in the end, I suppose, to deserve the win. Tactically, a really good game, Derek. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, he's always a danger, isn't he? No more so when he grabbed that goal. He never disappoints me when I watch him. He's just too good, simple. at all in terms of the shot unleashed well it's the care and attention all that work to get in the position and then wait well, you know i don't think the goalkeeper will be the slightest bit bothered by that effort well he won't want to watch that on the replay i tell you it just needs to remain icy cool at long last they've broken the deadlock well it's been so close this game tactics have played a part